everyone, this is Zama. Today I'm going to be showing you guys a sewing video, which are my favorite. And this is a super easy sweater. To be honest, you can go by with just making two stitches, which are the sides. Super easy. And I went a little further and added this super cute embellishment ribbon on the top of the um, shoulders and arms. So it looks super cute and I'm really, really satisfied on how it turned out. I think it's super cute. I'm totally gonna wear this to work. It's something super slouchy. It looks very sexy and it's very flowy. It's not like tight or anything. So if you guys wanna see how I made this step by step, make sure to keep on watching. So first we're gonna start with our fabric. This is a cotton, this is 100% cotton and it's a sweater cotton. And it's already been folded along here. And this is a sweater I'm going to be using to kind of use as a guide. So the next step is to fold the piece of fabric in half. And make sure you don't have any wrinkles. So now it's been folded again. And I also folded the sweater along this folding right here. So remember it's folded right here and obviously the top as well. Now I'm going to be cutting straight across because I already know how long this sweater is going to be. And this one fits perfect, but I do want it a little longer. So I'm gonna cut it about two inches, like right about here, straight across. So now I'm going to be working on this part of the sweater. So the next easiest step is to use a chalk to kind of know where you're going to be cutting. This is a regular chalk and it's yellow. Hopefully you guys can see it. If not, I'll just go a little closer. So I'm going to add about two inches to mine just because I want it a little bigger on me. And I'm just going to do that straight across. And I'm going to make a mark of where the armpit is. So it is right here. So the next step is I'm going to do the following. Just kind of straighten this out. And kind of make the top two kind of match the other side. So that should be pretty similar. And now I'm going to do another little mark. This is how wide we want our wrist to be okay so this is how this sweater is I'm gonna make mine a little bigger so I'm going to make ooh, a little mark here so it is about an inch bigger so I made a mark here and this is remember your wrist how tight or how loose you want it we are going to connect this line that I have right here which is right there we are going to connect it and kind of curve it to the armpit, okay? So, just gonna go a little bit straight. And this is all on personal preference. This is all practice. I don't, you see? So this is my fabric that's already marked, so this is the wrist right here and this is the armpit and then it goes downwards. So now we're going to be cutting this yellow line. So this is a perspective from further away. Now that it's completely cut, be working on the neckline. So this is the corner to work on our neckline and I'm going to compare it with obviously the one I already have and this one is a very it's kind of close to my neckline and I actually want it a little different I want it a little more open so I'm just gonna use this neckline as my guide and I'm gonna use only do one neckline for the both so I'm just gonna cut once so I'm gonna do about an inch down of where the neckline finishes so here, and I did my little line right there. Now for right here, I'm gonna make it about an inch 
further as well. So it finishes here and I'm gonna make it an inch backwards just to make it a little bigger. So I have those two marks, that's all you pretty much need. And now you just form your neckline. So you're just curving it and connecting those two lines. So just like that. And now I'm going to cut it. Actually, you know what, guys? This is going to be too deep for both sides. I'm going to do the other one. This is a back neckline. I'm going to do it smaller. So just like that. I'm going to cut the back neckline. So this is the, just the back neckline, okay? So now I am going to unfold it. Remember that I already had my front neckline drawn, so I'm going to cut that out. And that was half, so the next step, I'm just going to do the following. I'm just going to place it in half, and this is going to be my guide to make it as even as possible. Ta-da! So that's how it is. I was just going to do the same on the back, but it seemed a little too big for the back. It was going to be too exposed for the back. So that's why I kind of did it like this. So it kind of sits on my neck. And this doesn't, the front doesn't go back and shift too much. So now that it's completely cut, I'm going to turn it inside out. Since this is the outside of the fabric, make sure to turn it inside out. So now that it's inside out, I'm going to be sewing along here and along the other side as well, right here. You know what, guys? I just thought about something, um, and I am going to be adding some really cute, it's like a lace, lace ribbon. And I'm going to add this silver ribbon as well, right on top of the shoulder to add like a cute touch to it because I think it's going to be too basic. So I just thought of that and I'm like, you know what? I have this super cute and it's vintage too. It's like a vintage, nice lace ribbon. And I have this silver ribbon as well. So I'm going to add that to the top of the shoulder, which is right here. And before I close it up, I'm going to do that because if I close it up and then do that, it's going to be super hard. So I stopped at the armpit and I'm going to stop there so I can do that right on the top. So this is how it turned out once I sewed the sides. And oh my gosh, guys, this looks so good on. Um, and I also, um, in the middle of when I was sewing this, I was like, you know what? I'm going to add like a cute like embellishment on top of the shoulder. I'll show you up close. So I added that. And then I also sewed around the neckline, just a straight line to kind of stop the fabric from fraying. And I did the same on the bottom and the sleeves as well. And just a basic, simple straight line on the bottom just to kind of have a barrier so that fraying stops there. So this is how it looks. Oh my gosh, you guys, it looks so pretty on. I was so excited to see how it looked and it looks amazing. So this is how it turned out. I really like how it turned out. And my sister, she's like, you have to make me one. And to be honest, she just tried it on. And I'm going to just copy this one and make her one as well. And I think it's super cute. This fabric is very warm. This is 100% cotton. And you can change this up. This can be like something super colorful. But I thought it went super nice and dainty. And it's something that can go with everything. And I paired this with some really nice um, Levi jeans and some high over the knee boots. And that's pretty much it. And something like this type of like hairdo is totally like appropriate for it. Just so you kind of show your, your what is this called? Your decollete or this uh, part of your collarbone. So it looks super cute. I think I will definitely be making another one just exactly like this one, but another color. 
Um, if you guys happen to like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and make sure to also follow me on all my social media at v 425 Facebook, Instagram, all that good stuff. And also check out my blog, damavilova.com. And as always, I hope you guys have an awesome day and I'll see you guys next time. Mwah.